of Mexican descent, but born and raised here in the US. I've always known the United States to be fucked up, you know what I'm saying? Just living here and being raised here, but you hear about these stories, but never actually see and witness it firsthand. And then you see YouTube channels like this to expose you and welcome you into these lives. And then it makes you wonder, how does this even exist? <laughs> okay, America's fucked up, okay? I, 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 listen, not all white people are bad, okay? Not all white people are crazy. Not all white people are serial killers. Not all white people are mass shooters, no. Not all white people fuck within the family, but apparently this family did. The channel I'm speaking of is called Soft White Underbelly. I know y'all have heard of this channel, and if you haven't, let me let me introduce it to you. This channel is by Mark, and I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce his last name. He has done so many interviews with all types of people. These interviews are very interesting. You might even recognize one of the people that he interviewed a while back. He is now a YouTuber on No Jumper. Yeah, Sharp because he was a pimp so he interviewed him about it and you know what his career jumped off he is most known for the videos that he did on the Whitaker family but the most popular video was the first video he did of them called inbred family the Whitakers 39 million views so we're gonna go ahead and react to that video because I am so curious to see how this family even exists and how they function because from my understanding, having children with your family members is not good for your genetics and your DNA. So let's see how this family turned out. Let's just jump right to it. I first photographed the Whitaker family for my first book, Created Equal in 2004. That visit was interrupted by an angry neighbor with a shotgun who threatened to use it if I didn't leave the Whitakers alone. After explaining what I was doing, he calmed down and allowed me to photograph the Whitaker family. The two portraits shown in the video are from that book. I have returned to visit the Whitakers when I've been in an Appalachia for other shoots. But on this visit in July of, two, of 2020, I recorded a bit of video of something many of us have heard of but never actually seen. I strongly, I strongly discourage anyone attempting to look for the Whitakers as their armed neighbors and the rally county deputies both make it clear that curious visitors, visitors are not welcome. And I will not take that lightly because small towns are dangerous. They look out for their own and they don't want all that attention. They will shoot your ass. Okay, here we go. That's right. And your name is? Lorraine. Lorraine and Timmy. Yeah. Nice to meet all but of you. But you guys grew up here in, uh, in Odd, West Virginia. West how, Virginia. How many years have you lived here? <laughs> all her life. All my life. You, you're, uh, <laughs> you guys, I mean, did you go to school? You did? So, so, some of your some of your brothers and sisters probably didn't go to school, or how much schooling did they get? They didn't. They didn't wish too long, but they graduated. Gra so, are these brothers and sisters? Are they siblings to each other? I, okay, I know it's early in the video, but I'm so curious. Okay, you got this guy with the red T-shirt making a whole bunch of noises, and this dog doing the same damn thing. Uh, so. Mm, okay, from what it looks like, they live in a. I don't know if that's that if that's a trailer or of some sort. From what? We were away from high school. You went to high school, Timmy? Yeah, he went to uh, high school all in bed. And how about you, Lorraine? No, she didn't went to school. She didn't. And uh. No, they didn't went to school. <laughs> Come on out. Come here, Ray! <laughs> it's 
Ray, right, tell, tell me about your family. <laughs> Please tell us about your family because I want to know what happened here. This is not of the norm. That dog does not like you. Maybe you should leave him the fuck alone. So, Ray. Stop. <laughs> this dog is hyping my dog up. Gizmo, chill. Okay, well, um, mm. I don't judge off of looks, okay? I don't do that, but this is very difficult to not do. There's just a lot going on here, and ah, you see why you should not sleep with your family members? Because this is the results. That's all I'm going to say. You start praising him that it's a done deal, and then you just stand there. You know, sometimes the script. How do I turn that off? Uh, I'm sorry. It's hard for me to stomach this. I, I, I don't I don't mean to be rude. I don't mean to be disrespectful. But it's hard for me to stomach this. And uh, all right, what? You just have to stand. It says over in Ephesians chapter six that you take unto you the whole armor of God, having done all things. You how do I turn it? You know how to turn it down? And there are times that you just have to take the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the spirit. The word of God, and you just stand. And you, and you can't even you tell how old they are, neither. You see a manifestation. I wonder what now, their ages are. We can do to speed up this I can't tell if they're young, if they're older, middle aged. I don't know, it's hard to tell. So, Ray, what? You see, that person, that, that guy's got one finger, like half his finger missing. From my understanding, I think sometimes you don't form completely in the womb when you are an inbred. Tell, tell me about where you. Tell me. How, how, how old are you? How old are you? How old? What are you, what are you eating tonight for dinner? The sandwich. So you, you grew up here in, in odd West Virginia your whole, your whole life. And your, your family, you, you lost your brother since I was here last. Come on, Ray, get me on the board. Tell, tell me about your brother. You know this man can't speak. Why are you asking him questions like that? You know he can't answer. Damn, all that garbage, too. <laughs> Yo, that is not livable. Just because y'all are inbred doesn't mean y'all can not clean up your mess. Oh, look at him, though. What's, what's your favorite memory, Ray? Do you remember anything about your life? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. And you, you lost your other brother. Hey, we all got one of those in our family, don't lie. Okay. So you, you lost your brother? Ray's brother? Huh? Ray and Tim's brother? Tim is your nephew. Tim oh, Tim, is a nephew. Tim is a nephew? But uh, there's one of the brothers that's missing now. Well, one of my brothers died. That's what I'm saying. Who, who is that? Freddy. Freddy, that's right. Freddy's gone. How long ago did he die? He did. Almost four years. Four years? How did he die? Huh? How did he die? He had a heart attack. Heart attack? Ooh, a heart attack. Heart. And his heart. So t tell me about your family. Um, your, your, your parents. Tell me about your parents. My parents died. Oh, of course. Yeah, they're older now. <laughs> he said, of course, bitch, you old. Of course your parents died, because they old too. His question is, what happened here? 
What did your parents do that fucked this family up? How are they related? That's the question. Very old. What, uh, what can you tell me about your family? Not much. No? You love your parents? Yeah, I love my family. Good family? <laughs> to them, it's normal. <laughs> Timmy, you hiding? So, you know, I hear stories about your family, that your parents were brother and sister or, or cousins or something like that? Nothing like that? But the, but the, the mental disorder that, that Ray has, what, what is that from? I don't know. I don't know what called. But, but Freddie and Ray and Timmy are both kind of have that same, and, and Lorraine too has the same thing. What do, what do you suppose that the cause of that might have been? I don't know what caused it. You don't know? What's the mental disorder that you're speaking of? What is it? Have they even gotten checked? To me, you went to high school, right? Get up. <laughs> this guy over yeah. here is minding his business, reading the newspaper, oh, knowing Timmy, damn well, about... knowing damn that damn well that that man cannot read. But let him read. All right. right. Let him do his thing. Of your, of your, of your parents. Can you tell me anything? Lorraine, what, 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 can, what can you remember of your family? How do they speak to each other? That's my question. How are they communicating? And who is this? What family is this? This is another inbred family. From the same small town? Oh, that's the one that he just spoke to, the one in the middle. Oh, so she's married as well and got a child of her own? These are all my assumptions from the picture, but it seems about right. That's crazy, huh? I feel like the dogs are the only normal things around in that small town. At least he's got all his toes. Is that chewing tobacco? Right. Your brother Freddy. Can you do you remember him? This man ain't got no teeth to be do, chewing. Do you, miss, do you miss him? Do you miss your brother? <laughs> Let me stop, yeah. Let me stop. Let me stop. Go! Is that Mark? No, that's not Mark. It must be like his assistant. I think Mark is holding the camera right now. What's over there? I don't think you guys want to follow him. He's probably showing you a dead body. Okay? There's the boys in the hood in every neighborhood. Okay? And this is the first, this is the introduction of their boys in the hood. Okay, he's about to show you a body. Oh, uh -oh. Is, is that Freddy's grave? Oh shit, is that for Freddy's real? Grave? <laughs> Yo, they really showed the. <laughs> I was just joking. But he actually did show a body where a body is buried. His brother. Wow. <laughs> All right, they even put a yellow uh, tape over it. Who's gonna mess with it? Ain't nobody gonna mess with that grave. All right, well, it was interesting seeing you guys again. Thank you for letting me come by. Yeah. You remember me from uh, about 10 years ago? Yeah, I remember you about 10 years ago. Yeah. 10 years ago? I'm sorry about ago? your brother. I'm sorry about Freddie.
Lorraine, Timmy, thank you for letting me come by. Ray, I'm going to take off. Thank you for letting me come by again. Nice seeing you again. <laughs> Just go. <laughs> Please leave them the fuck alone. They don't want to be messed with. We're not supposed to know these things. To support this channel and some of the people seen in this video, please donate to the Soft White Underbelly GoFundMe campaign. I think he wants people to help him financially because they're having a lot of problems. So, let me give you guys a background story on this family. Because I later learned this from one of Mark's interviews. I believe it was on um, the Joe Rogan podcast. I don't like Joe Rogan. I just saw that clip. Um, but he said that apparently how they're related is their parents are double first cousins okay double first cousins to explain it further their fathers on both their mother's side and their father's side were twins identical twins so not only do they already share similarities with dna but the cousins ended up fucking and this family came about yeah i promise you they're not the only ones but go ahead and subscribe to his channel show him some love because he puts a lot of work in his into his videos he really goes out there in the trenches you know what i'm saying to meet all these types of people but also don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel all right y'all i will see you when i see you peace